Today we travel the Florida back roads to find the site of a 1926 shootout that left one Florida deputy dead. We'll take you inside that story and more as we visit Rich Loam, Florida. This is in Pasco County, kind of close to nothing really. It's in the middle of nowhere. And this is the site of the Rich Loam General Store. It's been operating since the 1920s here in Florida when a man named Sid Brinson, pictured here, opened up the place. Now, back in those days, the Atlantic Coastline Railroad had a depot stationed right here at Rich Loam. You can see it pictured there. And this very store and post office were central to the town at that time. Today, the store is still operating and looks much like it did way back in the 1920s and 30s. Now, things in Rich Loam were pretty rough and tumble back then. This man, Deputy Sheriff William O'Berry, was shot and killed while serving an arrest warrant on a local turpentine worker back in 1926. Nearly 100 years later, the Rich Loam General Store looks much like it did in 1926. I'm not kidding, I thought this pickle barrel was just for show, but I'll be damned if there's pickles in there. Now, this general store was listed on the National Register of Historic Places back in 2017 and is a must visit for anybody who loves old Florida history. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time.